Erstmal herzlich willkommen. Was wir hier heute vorstellen, ist der vierte Band äh, unserer Reihe Die Farben des Blutes. Wir haben Victoria Aveyard vor drei Jahren schon mal hier in Deutschland gehabt und haben gesagt, jetzt zum vierten Band ist es die Gelegenheit, diese tolle Autorin noch mal herzuholen. So, und jetzt begrüßt bitte zusammen mit mir unsere Autorin Victoria Aveyard. Um, wow, thank you guys so much for coming. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. What was your inspiration for Farley? Oh, my inspiration for Farley. That's a really good one. So it's also very easy. Uh, Farley is inspired by my best friend whose middle name is Farley. Um, and she was one of the first people to read any piece of Red Queen. Um, and so she was reading that first round with that character and she was like, hey, you made me a terrorist. <laughs> and you cut my hair. Um, so why is Mare the Lightning Girl? Is there any specific reason that the protagonist has to control electricity? The reason I chose electricity, it was kind of, that's just how it came to me. But at the same time, I knew I wanted something incredibly destructive but also really visual. And lightning is something that, I mean, you, it, it's, it's primordial almost. Uh, it, it's t totally natural, it's totally elemental, and it's cool. Um, a lot of this stuff I write is me thinking, well, this is cool, <laughs> and then trying to make it good <laughs> later on. Uh, but yeah, I was coming at it from that. The same thing with the red versus silver blood. A lot of people ask, why did you choose blood colors? And, I said I wanted something that was uh, able to differentiate people, but also able to be hidden. And then they asked, well, why did you choose the color silver? And I was just like, it looks cool, man. Can you imagine getting punched in the mouth and then you're bleeding silver? Awesome. So that's how my brain works. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Victoria, for being here.